Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing today? This is the best day of the year after 179 days. The Bassmaster Elite Series is back in your life, and what a place to start it off here. Manny, Louisiana, Toledo Bend. What a facility this is, and we're excited to be back here. Hard to believe, first time in seven years the Elite Series returns here, but we return with style. To kick off our season is the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. A lot of special things happening here today. First of all, one of the most amazing things that literally has happened in our sport, and I need you guys to remember this when we get to that point of the way. And as of this morning, Rick Clun officially kicked off his 50th season of competition. Unbelievable. It's unheard of. Five decades of competition. Obviously, a 16-time Bassmaster winner, 32-time Classic qualifier, four-time Classic champion. But we have some other anglers that are on the other end of the spectrum, just starting their Elite Series career here today. We've got 10 rookies, so I need to make lots and lots of noise for them when we weigh them in here today. And then, of course, we've got to find out who's leading this tournament. It's been a lot of fun to watch on Bass Live. You can be able to watch it all weekend long on FS1. Every Saturday and Sunday of Elite Series competition kicks off at 8 a.m. But I need you guys, I'm going to tell you guys, let's pack this place on the weekend. But this is a pretty good crowd for a Thursday afternoon. Give yourselves a round of applause. A lot of events going on. You see a second stage here. We got some entertainment happening here this weekend. So call your friends, call your family. Let's jam this plate this weekend and let's have a good time. Are you guys ready to start this weigh-in? No, 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 no. This is the very first weigh-in of 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. Are you ready? Let's get ready to weigh up. Our very first angler, a former Bassmaster College champion, a classic qualifier from Missouri. Get loud for Cody Huff. <laughs> Cody Huff, going to be leading everything with this right now. Leading angler of the year, leading the tournament, leading it all. Five fish here today for Cody Huff. And five good ones, 23 pounds, nine ounces. 23 pounds and nine ounces. Cody, congrats on a great day. And, and, and who are you joined by here? Uh, this is my little one, Esther. She's about nine months old. And this is her first time on stage. So she got quite the crowd to get to see this afternoon. You do great on this fishery. And, man, you were a popular pick in fantasy fishing. And you made a lot of people around the world real happy with uh, your day one result. You going to keep it rolling? Yeah, we're going to try to. It was really not as good as the weight looked. You know, not getting a lot of bites, but when you get one, they seem to be the right one. So hopefully they keep biting. Keep it rolling. We'll see you back here tomorrow. The full field fishes the first two days of competition. Let's bring out a two-time Elite Series champion, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. Three fish here today. Too short of his limit, unfortunately. 10 pounds, 6 ounces. And uh, did you try to negotiate Cody to weigh in uh, after you to make it a little less painful? Yeah, I, honestly, with 10-6, I think I could have been after pretty much anybody back there. It had been pretty painful. But uh, it was it was just a bad day, man. I spent too long in a lot of areas with no bass. That's just a fact of it. So we're going to try to go somewhere else tomorrow. Anywhere, If you're in a hole anywhere, this is not a bad place to be in one because there's big enough fish to climb out of it. Looking forward to seeing it go down tomorrow. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year and Elite Series champion from Wisconsin. Get loud for Jay Shakurat. Five fish for Jay Shakurat here today. You, you went back to the polka music. The polkas are back. 19 pounds, two ounces, and puts him in second place. So the polka music working for him. Four pounds, eight ounces short of the overall lead, but with 19-2, Wisconsin's Jay Securet kicks off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign. A pretty good way to start things. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I'm having a blast down here in Texas catching these big fish. Hopefully tomorrow I can catch a 10-pounder, hide everybody back home in Wisconsin. I know it's still cold there. A lot of you want to be out fishing. Hopefully tomorrow I can get it done. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out 11-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, an Elite Series champion from Brookville, Indiana, Dollar Bill Owen. 
Five fists for Bill Lowen here today. 14 pounds, 10 ounces, moves into third place. Just nine pounds short of the overall lead. 14, 10, and Dollar Bill sitting in third place currently. So if you get out of here real quick, you're going to leave here positive. You're in third place and not even worry about what happens after you weigh in. Heck, I'm not worried about it. You know, it's been a long winter. It was fun getting back out there in that Express and that Yamaha, um, getting in my office, you know. But nobody wants to show off on the first day, you know. Good thinking. So, yeah, I'm just going to go out there. You know, I may have to go back to Gros Savant on the way home so I can figure out how to catch a big one. But you know what? Um, it's awesome to be back on this stage. It's awesome to see all the fans out here. Um, we really appreciate you all coming. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to catch them tomorrow. Looking forward to watching it happen. Let's bring out our reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion from Kenora, Ontario, the great Canadian snow leopard, Jeff Gustafson. Gussie with five fish here today. Five fish, 16 pounds, three ounces. He moves into third place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City bag. Going to hold a few up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Sixteen pounds and three ounces, Gussie. How you feeling about day number one? Well, that's a little light for the Texas, I think. But uh, I, I had a bad morning, so it was. It, I'll take it. It was. Uh, I had to kind of grind for that today, but hopefully it'll be a little better tomorrow. But uh, nice to be back out after it. And uh, you know, last year was an amazing year, and getting to win the Bassmaster Classic, uh, life changing experience. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to try and do it again. Looking forward to seeing that. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A four-time Bassmaster winner from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. Five fish here today. I'm good. Woo! Five fish here today. 19 pounds, 11 ounces. A good start to things. He moves into second place currently. For those of you watching Bass Live today, he was the overall favorite from our pundits to win the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title. I don't know if you've seen that, but today I think like six pundits were chosen, the, the live staff obviously, and uh, I think four of the six picked you to win Angler of the Year. Is, is that good for you or bad for you? In between. That means I guess they have faith in me, so that is good. But... Uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, we had a good start, 19 pounds. Practice was kind of tough. If we can just be consistent. That's the goal this week is just notch out, be consistent all week, all year. We'll see how it goes. Keep it rolling. See you back here tomorrow. A two-time Bassmaster winner from Fort Worth, Texas, the Zaldangerous one, Chris Zaldane. Chris Zaldane with five fish here today. An eight-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. 19 pounds even. He moves inside the top five in fourth place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weighing bag. Going to hold a few up for you. Team Bass Pro Shops angler, the Zal Dangerous one, Chris Zaldane. 19 pounds even. He moves into fourth place. Going to weigh this for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Six pounds, 15 ounces. So you take that over, sitting inside the top five, and you have uh, about a good golf drive away from where you're staying. So uh, it's it pretty easy day for you. Yeah, no, Cypress Bend Park, it's, this is an amazing facility. We got our RV set up right over here. We got our three dogs with us. Although I'm a Texas guy, most of my good stuff this week is on the Louisiana side. And obviously, you know, my swim bait areas, all my best stuff had three foot waves on them. So at noon today, I only had one fish, and I made an adjustment, and I found out, you know, the quicker you forgot about practice, the better you did. So I figured that out a little bit late. Looking forward to tomorrow. Awesome. Looking forward to going for you. I told you we got 10 rookies. This is one of them. I need you to get real loud. It is doobie time. Get loud for Tim Doobie. Three fish here for Tim Doobie to kick off his Elite Series campaign here in 2024, representing the Bass Nation. 10 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into seventh place currently. 
Nothing to, nothing to see there, but but tomorrow, a better day, right, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. With how today started, you know, I, I'm happy. I'm pretty proud of those three. Uh, a fishery like this, uh, you think you'd fish are swimming everywhere, but they certainly aren't. But definitely proud and uh, going to go give a hell tomorrow. Proud to have you on the Elite Series. Look forward to seeing you all season long. A two-time Elite Series champion from Salem, Virginia, the cruise missile, John Cruz. John Cruz with five fish here today, a 13-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. 13 pounds, four ounces. He moves into seventh place currently with 13.4. Let's hear it for John Cruz. Good to see you back up here on this stage. Yeah, ever, everybody, I just wanted to show you that they have small bass in this lake. And that's small bass for this lake because there are some giants out there. So hopefully I'm not out of it. I can just go ahead and uh, scrap everything I did today and uh, go out there and fish some new water and have fun tomorrow. So I uh, appreciate everybody coming out. We'll see you tomorrow. Love having you here. See you back here tomorrow. He's a Bassmaster Elite Series champion, a five-time classic qualifier from Benton, Arkansas, Stetson Blaylock. Stetson with five fish here today. Looks like a good day. Twenty-four pounds even. He's your brand new leader with a Crush City Monster Bag of the Day. Twenty-four pounds even, and Stetson Blaylock is leading the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend in beautiful Manny, Louisiana. Twenty-four pounds even, leading this Derby. And that is how you want to start off the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series season. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats. Big Bass, he's better than 6.15. 6.2, not going to take that over. But, man, a great start to things. Yeah, it was. I did not expect that. Just uh, got around some good bites. It's a little tougher than I expected with the wind. But, I mean, we all have to adjust and make the right adjustments. And just very blessed, honored to be out here again for another season. And uh, glad to start the year off with a nice stringer. Love having you here. Looking forward to seeing how it plays out for you. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Alabama. Get loud for David Gaston. Going to fish his first Bassmaster Classic in a little over a month's time. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, you guys are all welcome. Hope to see you guys there. Five fish today for David Gaston. 15 pounds, six ounces. He moves into seventh place currently. He's got something to show you, a Manny, Louisiana. Fifteen pounds, six ounces, and uh, it's great to have you back here in the Elite Series. I'm glad to be back. I really am, and uh, I just want to say I'm real proud of my wife. We had a baby last Thursday, and she's back home taking care of him. So I'm just tickled to death for her and have us a little baby. Congratulations. He's a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Get loud for Buddy Gross. Five fish for Buddy Gross here today. Two mega bag, he says. Thirteen pounds, five ounces. Keeps him inside the top ten for now in ninth place currently, and. Uh, Got your work cut up for you tomorrow, but I don't think you're the only one. I mean, it seems like these fish are, things are changing, and some of the anglers are having to change with them. Yeah, they're making a big move, it looks like, but they're going to catch them, and uh, they got a lot of big bags coming up behind us, but we're just going to have to catch a big bag tomorrow to even make a cut, so we're going to have to dig hard. All right, go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's an Elite Series champion, five top tens in his rookie season last year from Japan. Get loud for Choya Fujita. Oh, boy. Get your cameras ready. He needs 24 pounds and an ounce to take the lead. Five fish for Kyoya Fujita. 31 pounds, three ounces. 31 pounds and three ounces. And once again, Kyoya Fujita's present is felt here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Your current leader... A Crush City Monster Bag of the Tournament with 31-3, and he is leading the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. Let's see if he takes over Phoenix Boats. A big bass needs to be better than 6 pounds, 15 ounces. 
eight pounds, eight ounces. Okay, he, wa he wants to hold all these fish up. Let's have a look at the work he's been doing here this week. 31 pounds, three ounces. That is a new Crush City Monster Bag of the Day, Monster Bag of the Tournament. Let's hear it for Chuya Fujita. Thirty-one pounds, three ounces. Going to get them all packed into this Crush City weigh-in bag and release them back onto Toledo Bend Reservoir, so they can get bigger and bigger for years to come. And this fishery is treating you very, very well. Are you happy with day number one? Yeah, very happy. Uh, today is a special day. Uh, cast a big fish, hit a catch, and a, a cast and a catch and cast and catch and. A Four pounder and uh, five pounder uh, release. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you do it again tomorrow? Mm, maybe so, but uh, it's tough condition. Uh, maybe uh, tomorrow is tough condition. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I try catch big fish. Yeah. Are you are you, are you going to tell me what lures you're using? Uh, secret. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, next uh, next day, uh, live. Watch live. Okay, <laughs> watch live. Thank you. <laughs> we will be watching. Let's bring out a four-time Bassmaster winner. He is the back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion from Maiden, North Carolina, Hank Cherry. A tough act to follow. Five fish here today for Hank Cherry. 15 pounds, 13 ounces, puts him in eighth place currently. Fifteen, thirteen. Do you like Kyoya Fujita or no? I already figured out tomorrow. Hell, I'm getting behind him and following. That screen he's got in front of the boat, I can cast on it too, I promise you. It's 24 inches of bass goodness on the front of that thing. That kid is awesome fishing this style if you didn't see it last year i mean it's we've all kind of got the same equipment he's got it but he definitely has it. it doesn't matter if he's throwing a minnow that fuzzy dice thing he throws whatever it is they bite it he needs to start a forward facing school too but hey it's awesome to be back here i love this place it's one of my favorite places in the world unfortunately when the wind blows here it gets rough i wanted to go north today decided not to i went south the cool thing about it was i had to bank all to myself because everybody else is outside i didn't catch what they caught Tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully, I can go do some flipping and some chatter baiting and some other things. I uh, also want to mention this year, got a new uh, program running. I'm with Monster Fish Outdoors. You'll see Nick there all year with the camera, following me around, irritating me because I hate cameras, but he's got that in my face. we got a little YouTube channel going on. Uh, Matt Lewis put a lot of trust in me to help build this company up, so I'm going to build it. And the object is going to be to build affordable fishing uh, equipment for the public. So that's what we're looking for, and that's what we're going to do, try to get this thing back down to where – the weekend anchors can have the same stuff that I fish with and go out and enjoy itself and not break the bank. Awesome program. See you back here tomorrow. A four-time Angler of the Year. He is the 2020 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Texas, Clark Wendlett. Five fish for Clark Wendlett here today. Sixteen pounds, seven ounces. He moves into seventh place currently. Lark Wendlet went to work and the Bass Pro Shops are wrapped. A Ranger Yamaha today comes back with enough weight to put him in seventh place currently and uh, another shot at him again tomorrow. How uh, how do you think this – Will the, it seemed tougher than many would have expected this time of year. Did you feel that today? Well, it was for me uh, a little bit tougher. I mean, I I got I actually caught quite a few fish. I, I'm not scoping. I'm fishing. So, uh and 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 I'm happy I'm fishing too. So it, it was actually I actually had a fun day. I lost one great big one, and you got to get all those in. I didn't have five great big ones bite, but um, you know fished hard and and look forward to doing it again tomorrow. Love having you back here. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. 
He's an Elite Series champion all the way from Japan. Get loud for Takumi Ito. A four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Five fish here today. 15 pounds even. He moves into 11th place currently with 15 pounds even for Takumi Ito. Took a win just a few years ago on the St. Lawrence River. Takumi, 15 pounds even. Happy today? Uh, so yes, uh, pretty happy. So because uh, uh, Torito event is uh, five years ago, my first time Bassmaster Open tournament right here, and uh, I'm come back today. So I'm very very happy. So I like uh, Torito event a lot because uh, five years ago I got a second place right here. So hopefully tomorrow it's a big back and uh, I got a more jump up. Hopefully, but before you leave, I gotta ask you a favor because Kyoya is leading this tournament, Kyoya Fujita, yeah. and and he says he his baits are secret. He will not tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, he gets really bad at English when we ask him. Will you tell me yeah, yeah, what yeah. what baits he's throwing? My bait, I, I use him. He, everyone don't know that because uh, he cast catching. Oh. So. Always, and uh, he come back here. It's uh, all high. Everyone don't know he. I think that he use a very very small, tiny, and uh, everyone can see that it's so hard. So Koya always everyone every 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 secret very secret man secret or or a liar. Yeah, no, no liar, but he is a secret man. He, everyone don't know he born. Everyone don't know he he's so lifestyle. So it's so hard. Okay, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. See you back here tomorrow. A five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina. Get loud for the baby shark, Shane LeHue. Five fish for Shane LeHue. Fifteen pounds, eleven ounces. He moves into tenth place currently with fifteen, eleven, and uh, it's gonna be a shootout tomorrow because uh, it was a little tougher than some would have predicted today. Yeah, I think it's gonna be real top heavy, and then you know, guys, a lot of guys in the middle, kind of where I'm at. So uh, it was a tough day for me. I don't think I had a bite until like eleven or twelve o'clock. Uh, it was. I just I ran around, burned a bunch of gas, ran the Skeeter and Yamaha up the lake, down the lake, back up the lake. So. Uh, I probably need to stop running around so much tomorrow and just kind of lock something in and, and try to figure out where the bigger fish went. A lot of my fish moved, so I'm just going to have to go uh, scratch on the drawing board again tomorrow and see what we can come up with. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A former Forest Wood Cup champion, a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Clint Davis. Three fish here today. Eleven pounds, thirteen ounces. He moves into sixteenth place currently, and uh, got to make a rally tomorrow. <laughs> Man, I, I I really need a mulligan. I don't. This morning I had a bunch of bites and just kept jumping them off out there with a little spinner pole, and uh, then I went like five hours without a bite. I'm like, oh god, I'm I'm not gonna catch another bass. And I caught a four pounder right before we come in. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow morning's the same. But they go in the live well instead of back in the lake. Okay, yeah, not so much of a conservationist tomorrow. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring in a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Lake Wiley, South Carolina, Todd Otten. Five fish for Todd Otten here today. Good day, Todd. Yeah, it could have been better. You know, it, it was uh, kind of tough on me. I caught a lot of small fish, and then late in the day, had a couple good bites, let one get off, but still managed to get a few. 16 pounds even, puts him in ninth place. So, going to be in the thick of things, but uh, got your work cut out for you again tomorrow. No no pressure is relieved from today. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm, ex I'm excited about getting back out there because, you know, there's a, uh, you get an extra hour tomorrow, and it seems like the bigger fish are just moving up later for me, you know, mo pretty much fishing shallow. So, um, we're just going to do what we can do. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Another one of our Elite Series rookies needs you to get real loud. From Knoxville, Tennessee, let me hear it for Robert G. 
Five fish for Robert G here today, and he's going to give you something to cheer about. Looks like a good first day on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish. All alive. 29 pounds even, and Robert G rockets into second place currently. His first day of competition on the Bassmaster Elite Series, and what a way to start it. Oh, boy. Double guns loaded. Bang, bang. Robert G shoots out the lights. And that is the way you want to start your Elite Series career. We're going to weigh that one for Phoenix Boats at Big Bass. Needs to be better than 8 pounds, 8 ounces to take that over. 6 pounds, 12 ounces. Not going to take that over, but... Uh, this morning, I met your parents, and your mother is the most jacked-up fishing parent I've ever met in my life. And I said, I hope Robert gives you something to cheer about, but boy, did you ever. Man, I, I really don't even know what to say. Uh, today was just a blessing from God. Uh, I, I pulled in the right area this morning and caught, like, close to 20 pounds, and I made a move late in the day and rolled up, and every fish I caught was over 5 pounds, and it was just a, tr it was a true blessing. It was unbelievable. I don't really know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> you'll get, you, well, I mean, you don't have to decide because if you keep catching them like that, you'll just always be holding big fish. This Elite Series stuff is pretty easy, huh? No, not at all. Uh, going out this morning, blasting off, I was a nervous wreck. Uh, I look over to my left and saw Rick Klun. Look over to my right, saw Jordan Lee. I was just like, these are my the guys I grew up idolizing. Like, It's just insane to be on the same stage. They're, they're going across, but I'm pretty pumped up to be here. We're excited to have you. What a start. Keep it rolling. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Palatka, Florida, the Prince of Palatka, Cliff Prince. Five fish for Cliff Prince here today. <laughs> 11 pounds, 4 ounces. He moves into 19th place currently, and those snot nose rookies. I mean, what, what? No business weighing 29 pounds in front of you like that. It's pretty bad when you're going to tell you're going to go with a 19 year old to teach you how to go bass fishing, you know? <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time, and I tell you what, these boys that are coming up or something else. I'm, it's interesting to see, and uh, I'm interested to see what they're going to do the rest of the year. Always great to have you here. Happy to have you back on the Elite Series. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Corbin, Kentucky. Give me a little love for Mike Huff. Five fish for Mike Huff here today. Ten pounds, eight ounces. He moves into 21st place currently. You have a good off season? I did. Did you? Yeah, it was wonderful. Did a lot of fishing? A little fishing. <laughs> Uh, it was a rough start for me for the season, but I'm glad to be back on the Elite Series for 2024. Got to get them tomorrow, though. Go get them. Another shot at them again tomorrow. Another one of our Elite Series rookies get real loud for them from Auburn, Alabama, Logan Parks. <laughs> Logan Parks, that was very unison cheer there. They've been practicing that. Five fish for Logan Parks here today. 21 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into fifth place. And Logan Parks, one of the brightest young stars in this sport. Welcome him to the Bassmaster Elite Series. 21, 10. Is, is, is your dad down there? Yeah, my uh, beautiful fiance, my parents, and her parents are here, and they both came down here for their anniversaries to come support me, so give them a big round of applause. Nothing says love like the Bassmaster Elite Series. It's good to be here, man. I, uh, I never dreamed that I'd be on this stage talking to you, and uh, it's, it's really a dream come true, and to start out the tournament with over 20 pounds, man, God is good, and uh, life is good, and I can't complain about anything. Keep it rolling. We love having you here. We knew you were coming. He's a three-time Bassmaster winner, a three-time Classic qualifier from Maryland, Brian Schmidt. Five fish here today. 18 pounds, four ounces. He moves into ninth place currently with 18.4. 
a quarter way through the way and 103 anglers competing on the Elite Series this year. The top 50 will fish on semifinal Saturday, top 10 on Championship Sunday. And if you keep catching them like that, you're going to be part of that. Well, look, you know, this lake's full of grass, and I was very, very excited, man, you know, for, the, for this day to start. And uh, around noon, I didn't, I didn't have anything really, really to speak of, and I really learned a lot in two hours, caught a lot of fish, and kind of very excited to get back out there. We lost one, left one out there, and uh, hopefully we could do something similar a little bit bigger tomorrow. What did you learn? Um, we'll talk about that if uh, at another time, but <laughs> it uh, equaled what, what I weighed in right there. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. 2003 Classic Champion, 2006 Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Go Ike for Mike Iconelli. Five fish for Iconelli here today. 10 pounds, 14 ounces, moves into 23rd place, and you got a New Jersey look happening this year, Ike. Yeah, New Jersey, new mustache, uh, a lot of new stuff, you know. Just the Jersey and the mustache or other new stuff? Well, there's some other new stuff. Yeah, I got a uh, tattoo on my back. It says, catch them. All right. I look forward to seeing that. That'll be fun for the whole family. A former Bass Nation national champion, a three-time classic qualifier from Wisconsin, Pat Schlopper. Five fish for Pat Schlopper here today. And there is a bulge in that Crush City weigh-in bag. 27 pounds, four ounces, 27-4. And Pat Schlopper moves into third place currently. Digging deep in that weighing bag. Manny, Louisiana, let me hear ya. Twenty-seven pounds and four ounces. That's a pretty good way to start the season. That's not terrible. Um, yeah, it was a fun day. I had one little flurry there for about an hour and a half where just got to whomping on them, and it was pretty fun. Caught a good amount of fish. I know I'm in a good area. I don't know if I can duplicate that, but I know what I'm doing the rest of the tournament, and uh, we, we might have a chance at this one. Looking forward to watching it go down for you. He's a three-time Bassmaster winner, a six-time Classic qualifier from Paducah, Kentucky, Mark Menendez. Five fish for Mark Menendez here today. Let's get his season started off. Five fish, Mark Menendez here on day number one. 17 pounds, eight ounces. He moves into 11th place currently. 17 pounds and eight ounces for the Skeeter Yamaha Pro. 17-8, pretty good way to start things. It's a heck of a darn good way day. That's the best day of fishing I've had since I've been here, so maybe I'm on the uptick. Um, caught four of those real quick this morning and then Went to one that where I knew exactly where it was. There was three kids fishing in this little pocket. And I said, boys, do you mind if I just kind of slide right behind you? There was a dock there that they couldn't cast to, so I just eased over there, caught that one. That was my limit fishing. I said, boys, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Worked out good. It was a two-pounder. It, it gave me my limit. So it was, it was a real good day, David. Awesome way to start things. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Richmond, Virginia, the barrister, Edward Loughran the third. Five fish for Ed Lochran here today. Oh, he says. Nine pounds and nine ounces. He moves into 28th place currently. Another shot at him again tomorrow, Ed. Yeah, I do. I mean, I fished well. Every fish that bit, I caught. Um, just didn't get the right bites today, kind of like most of my practice. So tomorrow I'm going to go practicing. All right. Well, wish you luck to see you back here tomorrow. Great to have you here. Another one of our rookies, he's from Maine. He's a Bassmaster Open winner and a classic qualifier. Get loud for Tyler Williams. Howdy. Tyler Williams with five fish here today, kicking off his Elite Series career, has dreamed about being here, and we are sure happy to have him as part of our 10 rookies fishing this year. 20 pounds, four ounces inside the top 10 in seventh place currently. 20 pounds and four ounces. 
Just in case you're keeping a scorecard, these rookies are for real. Twenty pounds and four ounces, sitting in seventh place currently, and uh, man, that's a pretty good way to start your elite series career. Not bad, not bad. I'm I'm excited. It's been a fun day, no matter what. My last cast was a four pounder, so that helped a lot. <laughs> But uh, my first fish was that big one. So it was one of those kind of days, getting blown around out there. I uh, I don't know. I'm ready to go for tomorrow. Go get rigged and get ready. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. The boats leave. Let's bring in a four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. Five fish for Hunter here today. Became a daddy in the off season, so congratulations on that. 21 pounds and an ounce, and delivers on the scales in seventh place currently with 21 1. 21-1, not a bad way to start the season. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Um, <clears throat> I think Toledo Bend's the best lake in the country right now. Hands down. Yes, you all know it. Uh, we all know it went through a little bit of a downturn, but I'm telling you, for how big this lake is, I hate to know how many bass are swimming around it because there's going to be a lot more bags that big, and uh, I literally can't wait to get out there tomorrow. Going at 7 a.m., we'll see you here. The first Canadian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. Five fish here today for Chris Johnston. Eighteen pounds, fifteen ounces. He moves into twelfth place currently. So a decent start for the Ranger Bass Pro Shops Pro from north of the border. That's a good one right there. Eighteen pounds, fifteen ounces. And if it wasn't for Kyoya Fujita, we'd probably weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. I don't even know what big bass is yet, but I know a six-pounder is not going to cut it on this lake. But uh, I'll take a couple more of those tomorrow. Had lots of fun. I uh, haven't made a cast since about uh, mid-October, so got the rust off today. And hopefully tomorrow I can put a few more in the boat. Don't make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Del Rio, Texas, Ray Hanselman, Jr. Five fish here today. Five fish to start off the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series for Ray Hanselman. Seven pounds, 12 ounces, puts you in 32nd place right now and only up from here. Yeah, you know, I'll just give everybody a little bit of a head start. Kind of stumbled out of the gate, but, uh, you know, this is this is Toledo Bend. It's full of biggins. I had a really good practice, and uh, I was pretty shocked with what I caught. I probably caught 50 fish, but they're all the same size. I don't know what happened. I mean, I'm, you know, following fish in and, and they just big ones left i don't know another shot of them tomorrow we'll see how it all shakes out i need you to keep that noise coming for another one of our elite series of rookies from alabama get loud for wesley gore five fish here today and oh boy another rookie and another big bag of fish five fish 22 pounds eight ounces Welcome to the Bassmaster Elite Series. Wesley Gore with 22 pounds and eight ounces, currently sitting in sixth place. Hold them high and get loud. Boy, the rookie class is showing out here on day number one. Yeah, man, uh, we just went out there and looked at a few of them and we can see them, we'll make it happen. I hope it's a little smoother tomorrow. I, you know, being from Alabama, I almost said you haul a few times out there today. You know, trolling motor was out of the water more than it was in it. So it was a good time, and hopefully it smooths out and we can see what happens tomorrow. Love having you here on the Elite Series. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Newmarket, Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. Five fish for Seth Fighter here today. 13 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 24th place currently. Going to dig deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Thirteen, twelve. 
13-12, so a decent start, but, man, you're going to have some pressure on you tomorrow. Yeah, I gambled. I went way up north and fished shallow and didn't work out. Um, I guess I'll head down south tomorrow and uh, try to catch a big bag and get back in it. Nope. I do want to say uh, happy birthday to my beautiful wife. She turned 29 uh, today, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing her in a little bit. Happy birthday. See you back here tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Connecticut. Get loud for Alex Weatherell. Five fish for Alex here today. Looks like a good start to things. Five all alive. 21 pounds, 14 ounces. He's inside the top 10 in seventh place currently with 21 14. And a good start to the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series for Alex Weatherell. Sitting in seventh place in the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite, kicking off the season right today. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. It's a great way to kick off the day, and it was it was a fun day. There's a ton of fish around. I actually had to bail out of there around nine because of the wind. So I'm excited to get back there tomorrow. A little less wind, things could get crazy. We look forward to seeing it. It's been a nine-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida. Get loud for Bernie Schultz. Two fish here today. Tough start, but it doesn't matter how you start. It's all about how it finishes. I'm not done yet. He's not done yet, and I agree. Nine pounds, five ounces. If you're going to catch two, might as well be those two. Nine pounds, five ounces moves him into 35th place currently, and that's the kind to make a difference. Currently leading for Big Bass is Kyoya Fujita with 8 pounds, 8 ounces. He is the overall tournament leader with 31 pounds, 3 ounces. Day one of the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend in Manny, Louisiana. 7 pounds, 3 ounces, so not going to take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass, but definitely a welcome addition to the live well today. Yeah, at 3 o'clock especially. I, man, I struggled on the bank all about most of the day, and at 2 o'clock I gave up on that. I had a few chances kind of kept me there just enough to keep me trying and I finally said this is not going to do it went out and started doing the sonar thing and, and uh, caught that big one and lost another good one so wasn't a good day for me I had some mechanical issues but tomorrow's another day and I feel pretty good about it. you know I, I feel like I turned the corner at three o'clock finally so awesome to have you back here and look forward to seeing how it goes tomorrow a two-time Bassmaster winner, one in the Opens, one in the Bassmaster Elite Series from Fayetteville, Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. An eight-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier with five fish here today. 15 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into 20th place currently. And uh, another shot at him again tomorrow, but uh, not out of it today. No, you know, some days are just about surviving, and I feel like today definitely was. You know, it's a little bumpy out there. I'm sure you've heard other people say that, but um, I just didn't feel like they bit real good today. I, I caught a lot of small fish, and the big ones, they just come up and look at my bait. So I'm around them. I know I am. We'll go try again tomorrow. Go get them. We'll see you back here in the morning. He's a six-time Bassmaster winner, a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Rathdrum, Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polinick. Five fish here today for Brandon Polnick. Five fish, 15 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 22nd place currently. Day number one of the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. Not a bad way to start it. It's not my worst start. It's not my best start. Uh, I'm, my goal is to win AOI. We didn't just completely blow that out. I'm already thinking about it. Um, I won't look at the points, of course, but I'm already thinking about it. I want to make the right decision to try to do that. Um, and you don't have to win every single tournament, so I'm trying to be smart. I'm not bunting, but we're trying to make smart decisions and, uh, and just see what happens at the end of the year. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A 10-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. Matt Heron with five fish here today. Always good to have Matt here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Let's get this season officially started. Five fish, 15 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 24th place currently. 
24th place currently, so it's going to keep you in the mix, but uh, tomorrow's going to be a shootout. Yeah, you know, this wind kind of limited what I could do today and a lot of the stuff that I wanted to fish. I just I really couldn't. I just had to kind of ditch it and survive the day. So maybe that when that wind swaps tomorrow, we'll adjust. And uh, I got some areas. I got some pretty good fish in if I can fish it. Well, hope you get up to them and get catching them tomorrow. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out an Elite Series champion and classic qualifier from Springville, Alabama, Wes Logan. Five fish for Wes Logan here today. Five fish today, 18 pounds, seven ounces, a good start to things. Wes Logan moves into 15th place currently with 18 pounds, seven ounces. And that's the kind of fish that swim here in this incredible body of water. Toledo, man, a great place to kick off the season. Yeah, for sure. These dudes are catching them on a great lake. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fish in this lake. Dude, it's it's rough out there. Like, you know, there's that saying, the wind blew and the, it, it flew today. Um, running around, it was rough, but... I don't know what's going to change directions. Maybe we'll get to fish some stuff tomorrow that, you know, didn't really get pounded on today. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm happy with it and go out there tomorrow. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out a three-time Elite Series champion from Auburn, Alabama. Get loud for Steve Kennedy. Five fish for Steve Kennedy. Looks like a good start to the season. 20 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 10th place currently. Steve Kennedy, a three-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club, does very well in these big fish fisheries. 20 pounds and 7 ounces. Going to weigh the big one here. 8-8 eight, eight is leading Phoenix Boats Big Bass, but let's get a weight on this one right here today. Six pounds, 13 ounces, sitting in 10th place. So uh, a good start to the season. Yes, it is. And uh, it wasn't easy, obviously. The wind was blowing. It was howling. Had a deal out there offshore, you know, with the active target like everybody else is doing. And uh, I saw my big ones, and they just whew, went running the other way. So uh, and anyway. I thought if you used one of those units, the fish just jump in your boat. I'd been reading online. <laughs> No, it doesn't work that way. You still got to throw the right bait at them. The conditions have to be right. And anyway, it was really, really hard to fish in this wind. But I have another bait that uh, I have a lot of confidence in right now. It's a, a G Rat. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much. But uh, I just went to the bank, went fishing, caught two two giants. I got stuck with a little one, but I, I think I can get bit every day. I hope. We'll see. <laughs> Keep on catching them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's an Elite Series champion. He's the back-to-back -back Bass Nation National Champion from Alabama, Will Davis, Jr. Five fish here today for Will Davis, Jr., his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. 13 pounds, 6 ounces, puts him in 31st place currently. And uh, how are you feeling about day one? Uh, not good at all. You know, I didn't have a good practice, and I fished probably 90 percent of new water today so sometimes you just got to put the troll motor down and go and that's what i did and i just never stumbled upon them so you know it is what it is we'll go out tomorrow and try to bust them all right we'll see you back here tomorrow go get them he's a former bass nation national champion himself a three-time classic qualifier from louisiana get loud for Caleb summerall <laughs> they did get loud for you how about that good old home baby Five fish here today for Caleb Summerall. Let's give him something to scream about. 21 pounds even. He moves into the top 10. Caleb Summerall, a proud member of Team Express Yamaha, went to work today. 21 pounds even. And we'd love to have him here on Championship Sunday. The top 10 fish on the final day of competition, Championship Sunday. And it's always special here in Manny, Louisiana. Not bad. That's how you want to start the season. Yes, sir. I want to hope I can do it again tomorrow. But uh, today was fun, man. I ran my express all the way down to the south end of the lake, burned a lot of gas. I sat on four for a long time. But, uh, you know, with technology nowadays, I really tried to uh, erase all of the memories that and, and history that I have here and just go fishing and capitalize on what's working right now. And it paid off. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Paid off in a big way. Love to see it. See you back here tomorrow. A two-time Elite Series champion, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from Panama City, Florida. Get loud for Drew Benton. 
Five fish here today for Drew Benton. 21 pounds, two ounces. He moves into ninth place currently. Ninth place for Drew Benton to kick off the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. Took an Elite Series win last year, number two on his resume. 21 pounds, two ounces, so got to be pretty happy with the way day one went for you. Yeah, as windy as it was, and it kind of blew some of the places I wanted to fish out today, so uh, I'll take it for sure. Um, things are changing by the minute and by the by the uh, day here with all this warm weather, hopefully uh, they're swimming to the bank because that's what I really like to do. I had to s spend a lot of time out there looking at that graph today to catch a few of them. Then when I went to the bank, I caught that big one. So hopefully I get to settle in more shallow tomorrow and spend the day doing that. Looking forward to seeing how it works out for you. The 2019 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Scott Canterbury, a two-time FLW Tour winner with five fish here today to kick off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign. 12 pounds and an ounce puts him in 36th place currently. 12-1 going to keep him in it, but it is going to be work tomorrow to stay inside that top 50. The top 50 move on to semifinal Saturday, and we'd love to have you here on, on Saturday, but it's going to be a shootout tomorrow. There's a lot of guys right close to your weight yeah but there's a lot of them a lot more than i got so i got a lot of work to do for sure we're only halfway through with the way and we're going to be falling down some more but we can catch back up tomorrow this is a lake that's got giants in it you can make a big move so uh just need to get it rolling get going good and uh man can't wait to see this crowd out here this weekend it's gonna be fun look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow he's the northern opens angler of the year from a few seasons ago from old forge pa jonathan kelly Five fish here today. 17 pounds and nine ounces moves him into 20th place currently. Seventeen nine, a good start to things for Jonathan Kelly. Got engaged at the tail end of the season last year, and uh, now it's time to pay pay for that giant rock that you bought. So a uh, good start to things. Uh, yeah, we need a. We need a couple bigger bags than that to pay for that over the long run. So uh, we're going to keep trying. I had a lot of fun out there. Caught a lot of fish. Uh, with those wind conditions, I think I just had to weed through a lot of small ones. Maybe tomorrow the wind will shift and I'll be able to fish a little easier and maybe be a little mo bit more selective. Had a good time, so I'm looking forward to getting back out there. Love having you here. See you back here tomorrow. He's a three-time U.S. Open champion, an eight-time classic qualifier from Payson, Arizona, the Golden Ram, Clifford Perch. Five fish for Clifford Perch here today. Fifteen pounds, four ounces. He moves into 31st place currently with 15 pounds, four ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for the Golden Ram, Clifford Perch. Fifteen pounds, four ounces, and... Uh, a decent start to today, but uh, pressure's still on tomorrow. Yeah, I definitely got to catch them better. I, uh, I I thought there was going to be more of those giants. I only got that one big bite, and uh, I really uh, had some high hopes. So I think they're in the area, and, uh, you know, I'm just thankful to be here. You know, it's always kind of a big deal just to get out here and get started. I want to thank the folks at Suzuki and Phoenix, and uh, I've got a new, new sponsor, Copper State Tackle. And uh, they really helped me out get, getting out here this year. And uh, I'm excited. I got, a, I got some work to do. But uh, they live here, and, and I'm around some. I'm going to catch them. I'm going to bring them in tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Time to bring out our reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fish here today. Five fish for 15 pounds and five ounces. He moves into 31st place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Going to hold a few for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. So a decent start to things. 
you know, uh, well, I wouldn't call that decent on this lake, but I like I absolutely fell in love with this lake in practice. Like I thought it was going to be, you know, well, it, it is showing out, it is being good, but I feel like I was going to be able to catch them a lot better. But I just made some very big mental mistakes today. I just got rushed and I did, didn't fish very well at all. But I'm really glad that we're on this lake because a 30 pound bag is possible, and I plan on you know making a comeback tomorrow because I was around them. I just didn't make the correct adjustment, so we're going to think about it tonight and get back after it. We'll get the dirty 30 tomorrow. I look forward to seeing it. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Alabama. Get loud for Joseph Webster. Five fish for Joseph Webster here today. Good start to things. Ooh, this morning was good. 17 pounds at 9 ounces. He moves into 20th place currently at the halfway point of our day one weigh-in. The Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. What a way to start the season, and that's the kind you want to get. And there is a bunch of those swimming on this body of water. It is a crazy, crazy fishery. Yeah, I hope they uh, swim in front of my picture tomorrow because... Uh, I caught nearly every one of my scene today, but, uh, you know, it's just uh, I'm gambling on them coming to me and leaving the lake, and uh, I probably caught 20 today, and uh, they're, they're biting. If you see them and you make an accurate cast, you can catch these things, but uh, tomorrow's going to be good. It's going to be warm tonight. We'll get them. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. One of the highest-hyped Elite Series rookie. I need you to get loud. He won Toledo Bend Bassmaster Open last year. He's a classic qualifier from Texas, Ben Milliken. Got to watch him all day long on Bass Live. Five fish here today for Ben Milliken. The rookies have showed out, and he is part of that class, so might as well continue. 22 pounds, 9 ounces. He moves into sixth place currently with 22 pounds and 9 ounces. And get used to seeing this guy. He is going to make a huge impact in this sport, and he already has 22 pounds and 9 ounces. Let me hear it for Ben Milliken. 22 pounds at nine ounces sitting in sixth place and the crazy thing is it was tough on you today man it was super tough didn't uh didn't really capitalize on some bites and uh the small ones every one of them want to bite the big ones uh they wouldn't bite at all but uh we saved some big fish stuff for tomorrow so we're gonna pull the pull the curtains back on this place a little bit i think looking forward to seeing how it works let's hear it for him ladies and gentlemen he's just getting started a two-time Bassmaster winner from Wisconsin. Get loud for Caleb Kufal. Five fish here today. Fourteen pounds, fifteen ounces. He moves into thirty-sixth place currently. So, going to be in the thick of things, but you're going to be battling it out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I need a couple big bites tomorrow for sure, but uh, I'm kind of still in practice mode. You know, it's uh, kind of been a, a rough practice for me so far, but uh, I'm glad to be back, uh, you know, another year in the Elite Series, and uh, we'll go get them tomorrow. Glad to have you back. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Brandon Card. Brandon Card with five fish here today to kick off his 2024 Elite Series campaign. Day one, the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. 13 pounds, two ounces. He moves into 42nd place currently with 13 pounds and two ounces. A good one right there. The question is, can you, can you bring me five of those tomorrow? Man, it was kind of a crazy day. I pretty much did a lap around this entire lake, and I picked the worst day to do that with these high winds. And with 10 minutes left, I caught that one. So tomorrow, I think I'm just going to hunker down in that area and uh, maybe bring in five big ones. Don't make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. All right, you guys have been awesome with our rookies. Well, we got another one, so keep the noise coming. Welcome him right from Cooperstown, New York, a Bassmaster Open winner. Get loud for Kyle Patrick. Kyle Patrick has been working to get right here on the Bassmaster Elite Series stage, and he's making it matter. Five all alive. Kyle Patrick, day number one, 21 pounds, nine ounces, and he is inside our top ten, rounding out our top ten in tenth place. And if you wondered whether these rookies were for real after day number one, I would say 
They are 100% for real, and the rookie class showing out in a big way here in this first event, and uh, how special is this for you to be on the Elite Series stage? It's, I, I don't have words for it. I, I've waited a long time for this. Um, so cool to be up here with you, and um, happy I caught him on my first day. I was a little worried about that, but um, no, it was an awesome day. Uh, I want to thank everyone that supports me. It's really, really tricky to do this, to try to do this for a living. And, um, you know, all the support means the world. And thank you guys for coming out. Toledo, Ben, you guys are awesome. Thank you, and congrats. Next up, we got a four-time Bassmaster winner. He is an eight-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Prince George, Virginia, Jacob Peroznik. Five fists for Jacob Peroznik here today to kick off the 2024 Elite Series campaign. 16 pounds in an ounce, but it's him in 27th place currently, so going to be in the thick of things going out tomorrow. You know, you ever heard the, the term when the wheels fall off the wheels? So, but I'm just letting you know, literally, the wheels fell off this morning coming to the boat. I heard that, but what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Something happened, but uh, it, was a, it was a fun day. You know, the wind out there is, you know, a lot of us are fishing out in the middle of the lake and stuff like that, so the wind's got it hampered a little bit. But, you know, tomorrow's a different day. Decent little start. You know, points are valuable, with it, you know, for the first day. So you can't win it on the first day, but you can definitely lose it. So well, we're right there in the mix. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Wisconsin. Get loud for Kyle Norsetter. Five fish for Kyle Norsetter here today. In the second half of our day one way in 103 pros, battling it out in Kyle Norsetter with five fish, 21 pounds, eight ounces, 21, eight, and Kyle Norsetter moves into 11th place currently with 21 pounds and eight ounces. Day one of the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. 21-8, a good start to the season, a good start to this event, and uh, you gotta be feeling great. Yeah, it, uh, it was a rough one until about noon when you got a pound and three quarters in the box, and then you know it's fishing, so you just gotta learn to adjust on the fly, and I made an adjustment. Hopefully I can land all the fish tomorrow because I should have probably about another seven pounds of that bag, and hopefully I can back it up and go from there. Great start. Keep it rolling. He's not a rookie, but I need you to help me welcome him back to the Bassmaster Elite Series. Back-to-back -back classic champion from Coleman, Alabama, Jordan Lee. Five fish here today, and a good start to things for Jordan Lee. 22 pounds, 12 ounces. Just in case you forgot, he is still him in sixth place. Jordan Lee with 22 pounds and 12 ounces. A great start to things for the Berkeley Pro from Coleman, Alabama. So Jordan, a great start. Welcome back to the Bassmaster Elite Series. We're happy to have you here. Um, but. I mean, you left here a lethal bass whooping machine, and then the first video I see you post uh, during preface, you're shawled up, looked like the church lady begging for snacks. What has changed in your life? Listen, man, uh, you know, we're here in Louisiana slash Texas. These people know how to cook. They know how to cook, They and I was just hoping to get a couple boat snacks, but they never showed up. But I've, I've heard I got some waiting on me. I mean, they just know how to cook, and I, I appreciate that. I bet you get some snacks before this weekend's done. Great to have him back. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the noise coming for a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Louisiana, Derek Hudnall. Five fish for Derek Hudnall here today. Five fish for Derek Hudnall. Day number one, stop number one, 12 pounds, five ounces. Puts him in 47th place, and another shot at him again tomorrow, Derek. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, when this one came out on the schedule, I've got a lot of history here. Um, man, it just stinks. You know, I went on anticipation today. I did not have a good practice, but I had a few little key areas that I really thought it was going to go down in today, and it just simply didn't. You know, that's the thing about knowing a lot of history on a body of water. You know, sometimes you just make the wrong decision, and I surely did today. But giant bags are here to be had, so we're going to go out tomorrow and uh, see what else we can do. Go get rigged and get ready. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. for takeoff.
Our next angler, a former classic qualifier and former Bassmaster Open winner from Florida, Kobe Krieger. Five fish for Kobe Krieger here today. Looks like a good day. 23 pounds, seven ounces. He moves into sixth place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag, ladies and gentlemen. 23-7 sitting in sixth place. Let me hear it for Kobe Krieger. Twenty-three pounds seven ounces sitting in sixth place currently. Going to weigh that one for Phoenix Boats Big Bass needs to be better than eight pounds eight ounces to take that over. Nine pounds five ounces, a brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass, and man, that's a good way to start the season. Yeah, definitely the best first day I've had uh, since I fished the bass special, at least since 2015. And but it's so random. I mean, it looks like I know what I'm doing, and I'm just making a bunch of casts and. Uh, that big an eight of chatterbait about 1 30 this afternoon and uh but you know my starting spot i caught a couple big ones so lost another big one so we'll see what happens i had a good time today and uh finally really you know I'm, it's good to not be an 80 something after the first day keep it rolling we'll see you back here tomorrow he's a former college bass champion a bass master classic qualifier from tennessee jacob fouts five fish for jacob fouts here today New, new way in song. Yeah, I had to go with something a little better this time. I know you gave me heck last time. Well, I don't even remember what it was, but I'll never forget this one. Yeah, man, I'm a woman's man. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> 18 pounds even. He moves into 25th place, and he's a woman's man, as he said. The things you learn at a Bassmaster Elite Series weigh-in. 18 pounds even, a good start to things for Fouts. Way to kick off the season. Yeah, man, good start. Uh, surprising start. I had a really tough practice. Uh, I just kind of stumbled into them today. You know, these boys are catching them, so 18 pounds isn't all that great. But it's a good start to the year. A uh, little different than the last two years. I've gotten off to a tough start the last uh, last couple of years. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm happy to be back out here catching bass. Salida Bend's an awesome fishery. Uh, I need to give a special shout-out to my grandparents. Uh, it's their 55th anniversary today. They're probably my biggest supporters. Uh, I've got I've got the best family in the world they're my biggest support system but uh happy anniversary to you guys love you guys uh, we're gonna go out and see if we can't catch about 25 tomorrow go make it happen a two-time elite series champion he is the reigning dakota lithium rookie of the year from arkansas the cowboy joey safuentes joey safuentes with five fish here today it was so windy today at one point we saw you fishing without the cowboy hat that's when you know it's windy 15 pounds, 10 ounces, puts him in 37th place currently. So a decent start to today, but uh, not at the standard where you normally hold yourself. Yeah, pretty pretty disappointed. Um, I thought I was in a really good area. Had some big big bites in there in practice, and I don't know. I might just go somewhere new tomorrow and see if we can find something else. See what happens. All right, well, we'll see you back here. Go get him tomorrow. Always great to have you on the Elite Series stage. A three-time Bassmaster winner, a three-time TTVC champion from Huntington, Texas, Keith Combs. Five fish for Keith Combs here today. Five fish, day number one, 15 pounds and nine ounces. Puts him in 39th place currently. 103 anglers will be competing all season long on the Bassmaster Elite Series and cut down to the top 50 after two days. And you're going to be right near that cut when this all shakes out, but you can get another crack at them tomorrow, Keith. Yeah, I got some work to do, but Toledo Ben's full of them, I promise you. I caught 20 of those three-pound fish today. It was, it was fun just, you know, catching those kind of fish and seeing the lake come back like it's doing, but uh, just frustrating because – you, you know what you got to catch. You got to catch those five and six pounders, and they're here, and that's the cool thing about it. You know, I didn't totally take myself out of it today, and I feel like I'm way overdue for a kicker, but uh, the lake is definitely on a recharge. It's kind of been a little funk the last couple of years, but, man, it's coming back. I love coming here. We have great crowds. This is the greatest people in the world. Thank you all. We love having you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series made a top ten at his first Elite Series event from Gonzales, Louisiana, Logan Latuso. Five fish for Logan Latuso to kick off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. 
14 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 45th place currently, and another shot at him again tomorrow, Logan. Oh, yeah, I caught a bunch of them. Stayed on the bank, fished all day, thinking I'd run into a big one, but never did. So we'll change it up tomorrow and see what we can make happen. All right, give them something to cheer about tomorrow. We'll see you back here. A Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time classic qualifier from Japan, Kenta Kimura. Five fish for Kenta here today. Fourteen pounds, four ounces. He moves into 47th place currently. Kenta Kamira. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. And happy to have him back here on the Elite Series stage. 14-4, so a decent day today. Get him a little better tomorrow? Oh, yeah, it has to be. It looks like it's going to take a 17 a day to make cuts, so just to make cuts, you know. I have prob I'm, about, I'm about 20 pounds away from it, so, yeah, they're there. I just need a one quarter to buy tomorrow. You can do it. We've seen you do it many times before. A two-time Elite Series champion from Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. Jay Willie with five fish here today. Five fish for Jay Willie. 16 pounds and nine ounces. Puts him in 29th place currently. 29th place with 16 pounds and nine ounces. Got to thank the fine folks of Manny, Louisiana. A great crowd here for a Thursday, but this place is going to be jammed on the weekend, and I'd love you to be part of that. We're going to have to keep catching them like that by the looks of things. So are you inviting me to the party Saturday? You're invited. You're totally. I don't know you can fish the tournament, but you can come party. There's a lot of people here that would like to party with you. Yeah, well, it feels good to be in Texas to start out the year here. What a phenomenal fishery that this lake is. And uh, it feels good to be back. And my hat's off to Texas Parks and Wildlife. You know, they do an excellent job keeping these fisheries intact. And uh, look forward to going out there tomorrow. Any cast is a 10 or 11 pounder here. So we're going to go get after tomorrow and see what happens. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A former Bass Nation national champion, all the way from Hawaii, say aloha to Matty Wong. Matty Wong with five fish here today. Looks like a good start to things. Five fish for Matty Wong, day number one, 19 pounds, 10 ounces. He's in 20th place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weighing bag. There you go. 19 pounds, 10 ounces, and that's the way you want to start off your 2024 Elite Series campaign. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Feels good to be back. Feels good to be on the stage talking with you and see everyone out here. Um, yeah, and it definitely feels good to have um, a decent little bag going into day one, so. Yeah, I'm excited. Just got to keep my head down. I learned a tremendous amount about myself and about my, my just fishing in general in the past few years. And so it feels really good to have like a third crack at it. So I'm stoked and hopefully we can just kind of keep that train rolling. You earned it. You deserve to be here. We look forward to seeing you all season long. He's a six time Bassmaster winner from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. Five fish for Greg Hackney. Twelve pounds and nine ounces. He moves into 55th place currently, and that is not where you, we're used to seeing you on this body of water. Well, I'll be honest with you. I guess I guessed wrong. I, I had an area I thought that they were coming to because I got some bites in there, and I went in there today and caught a lot of fish. Never caught any big ones. You know, it just... First time I've ever been here this time of the year, and I kind of anticipated more of them coming shallow. I knew the, you know, I knew they were going to catch them out there deep, doing what they were doing. But I still thought there was an outside chance that there was a big wad moving up. But caught a bunch of fish. I'm gonna go to new area tomorrow and catch a bunch more. Make a big comeback. We'd love to see you here all the way through the weekend. From Oklahoma, his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Get loud for John Socup. Five fish for John Socup. Five fish, 14 pounds, a seven ounces. Puts him in 49th place currently with 
14-7, so, uh, you know, a decent day today. You know, going to keep you in contention and give you a shot at it again tomorrow. Yeah, got to have a positive mindset on this deal. I can't blow it on day one, but I can keep myself in it. I come back tomorrow, 20 pounds. I don't, I don't know what the cut weight's going to be, but I'm assuming 30, but it may be quite a bit more. Had plenty of chances today at better fish. I just can't get them triggered. I get them to follow a lot. So lost a good one at the boat would have had me like 15, half 16 pounds. So not really around anything. Just have to fish. And just want to say hi to my wife and kids at home. We'll see you tomorrow. Go get them tomorrow. We'll see you back here at 7 a.m. tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Going to fish his first classic in just a month's time. From California, Bryant Smith. Five fish for Brian Smith set the all-time record, the biggest smallmouth bag limit in Bassmaster history, 29 pounds, 5 ounces. Last year, today, 11-13, puts you in 59th and qualifies you for a triumphant comeback tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to need to, man. Uh, just one of those days. It's good to be back, but I didn't want it to be just a difficult day like it was today, man. Uh, just struggled all day long, and, uh, you know, I had a – I had one moment at the end of the day. I'm looking at my active target, and I see one, and it's five pounds. And I throw, throw my little minner at it. And wouldn't you know it, it was a catfish. <laughs> Half hour left, of course it's a catfish. But uh, they're out there, they're swimming around. I'm going to go try and catch them tomorrow. Don't get catfished tomorrow. We'll see you back here. A four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Mount Carmel, Tennessee, David Mullins. Mullins, a former Bassmaster Open winner. Five fish here today. Let's get this season started right for David Mullins. 18 pounds, 7 ounces, puts him in 24th place currently. So Mullins in the mix, moving into day number two. The top 50 fish on semifinal Saturday, top 10 on championship Sunday. 18-7, that's a, a decent day today, Mullins, especially on a day where a lot of anglers struggle. Man, it, I'm not going to lie, it's been a while since I've been fishing. I think September is the last time I went fishing, and I had a lot of stuff go bad today in this wind. So I'm running down the lake. I got two spin rods on the front deck in front of me, and I think I'm going through spider webs. I'm like, where's all these spider webs come from? Both, <laughs> the braid off both of my spinning reels is 400 yards behind the boat, and the spin rods are trying to get out of the boat. So I had to stop, re-rig two spin rods, and then I, I had waves coming over the boat, you know, because it's been so windy. Thought I'd turn my build sw switch on. I turned my pump outs for my live wells. Fifteen minutes later, I realized that the flopping I'm hearing is the cull tags from the fish that's been dry for 15 minutes. And I go back there, and I'm like, poor guys. And luckily, put water in it. They all made it. We got 18 pounds. Hopefully, we can do it again tomorrow. Go <laughs> get them tomorrow. He's a six-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, two-time Bassmaster winner from DeBerry, Florida, John Cox. Five fish here today. It's like a good start to things. Five fish for 20 pounds, four ounces. Moves into 18th place currently for the Berkeley Pro from DeBerry, Florida. Let me hear it for John Cox. 17 Bassmaster top tens, and we'd love to see you make another one here this week. Oh, gosh, I just I, I keep looking at the weather and I'm like, oh, please just make it to Saturday. It's going to be nice and calm and hot. And uh, man, it was just a grind out there. But man, it's so awesome. I, I hope we come back here every year. I mean, this place is full of fish. And uh, man, I mean, a any cast could be a 10 pounder. So anytime we come to a place like that, uh, it's just, you know, <laughs> you're just I'm like holding my breath all day when I'm casting. But uh, man, I'm excited to go out there tomorrow and maybe we can get five more good ones and make it to Saturday. Well, it's good to have you back here. I've missed you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out an Elite Series a champion, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, five-time Classic Qualifier, Drew Cook. Five fish for Drew Cook here today. Seventeen pounds, eleven ounces, puts him in 29th place currently with seventeen eleven. Digging deep in that weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for AFCO Pro, Drew Cook. 17-11, so a decent day today. Just got to be happy with that. Uh, what could have been is, is crazy. Um, but you know, I caught that pretty early this morning, and uh, I thought with the weather and everything that they were just going to make a bum rush to the bank. So at about 9 or 10, 
I went up to the bank and stayed up there until about an hour left and uh, went back out and ended up getting some more bites and lost one great big one, probably the biggest fish I've ever had on in a tournament. But uh, I know what to do tomorrow. Hopefully the water will come back up a little bit and they will flood the bank because that's where I want to be. And there's pollen falling. It's 80 degrees. I mean, that's where they're supposed to be. So hopefully they're going to be there tomorrow. Wish you luck. See you back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time Classic qualifier from Georgia. Let me hear it for Mark Frazier. Four fish here today for Mark Frazier. It was your birthday earlier this week, so happy birthday. Ten pounds and an ounce puts him in 69th place currently, but you have a great cheering section. Yeah, I do. My family came up. It's a... Uh yeah, I appreciate y'all coming. It's uh, they're all from Louisiana, so you know how they they like to be. But uh, <laughs> well, how do they like to be? Oh, they like to get down. <laughs> I had not heard that, but I look forward to seeing. Yeah, uh, man, it was tough. That wind really killed me. Uh, every time I made a cast, I lost track of where I was going. Before I knew it, I was 15 more yards away from the fish. So I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna just keep my head down and uh, try to bust a big bag to make up this ground. We'll make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's a former Forest Wood Cup champion, a Bassmaster Open winner from Alabama. Get loud for Justin Atkins. Five fists for Justin Atkins here today. Five fish here today. 15 pounds, eight ounces. Puts him in 45th place, so a decent start to things. But, man, it's going to be a battle to stay in that top 50 tomorrow. Yeah, it is. I, I got a few clues today and actually caught all those fish doing something I didn't do in practice and probably should have just kept going with it. But, man, it's so hard with that day off. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to check, and my day just kind of fell off flat line. But it's all right. We're going to start fresh tomorrow. Um, Cooper's going to be a little disappointed. He looked in my bag and said, we're having fish for dinner. And they just left, buddy. They're throwing them back. So, I uh, may have to stop at a pond or maybe a grocery store on the way home and get some fish, but we're going to uh, get back after him. Go catch him, and you can buy Cooper's steak. <laughs> Next up, we got a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Bassmaster Open winner from Kentucky, a man more slick than an ugly stick, Matt Robertson. Five fish for Matt Robertson to kick off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign. 14-1 puts him in 55th place currently and uh, just building the drama for the big comeback tomorrow, correct? Yeah, pretty much. I can't never get the season started out good. And uh, the highlight to my day is Justin Atkins' little boy is back there. He's about three. He is scared to jump over his little pink hose, so I read, held my hand out there. He grabbed it, and then he jumped over and started jumping the mud. I didn't know I was going to teach him how to jump in a mud puddle. And uh, I got a little bone to pick with you people from Louisiana. I don't know if y'all are lazy or whatnot, but I can't get a cup of coffee in this state before 5.30. I had to drive on over to Texas. So, ain't no joke. Made me drive 20 minutes out of the way to get a cup of coffee this morning. But I heard they're going to open it up at 5 this morning, so I'll give y'all a little break. All right, but the sounds of those guys over there, they're not the ones opening it. I can guarantee you that much. <laughs> All right, I'll be there. It's Thursday, and I can't even understand that, man. I can't wait till the weekend. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Texas. Get loud for Brad Watley. Brad Watley with five fish here today. Five fish to kick off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign. Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite with 16 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 33rd place currently for Texas's Brad Watley. Hold him high. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Brad, I hear a lot of rumors. A lot of rumors float around. Is it true? That in pre-fish, you caught an 11-pounder? 11 and a half pounder. Yeah, sure did. On a dadgum flipping stick, man. How many times did you think of that fish today? A bunch. <laughs> and, you know, and what's crazy about it, uh, a couple of buddies of mine were close to me and um, got them to take a picture of it. And so, anyway, we parted, separated. They went one way, I went the other. And so I kicked the trolling motor on high and started swinging to the right, and I hit a stump, and I was up there bobbing and 
of course, d took a dive, went in. So, and I was like, man, I see why these suckers won't bite because I about froze my butt off <laughs> when I got back out of that water and I instantly come out of that shirt. But no, yeah, it was a big fish, and so hopefully she's still there. I didn't get, I didn't go fish for her today or you know any of those fish today. Wind kind of kept me close, but hopefully we'll change something up tomorrow and try to get a big bag. Look forward to seeing it. Go get them tomorrow. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a three-time classic qualifier from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Oh, Bob Downey. Five fish for Bob Downey here today. Fifteen pounds, eleven ounces. He moves into forty-first place currently, so going to be in the thick of things with that fifty cut. Yeah, about middle of the pack, maybe a little bit outside the cut. So uh, I'll take it. I didn't have a great practice this week. I've kind of been running all over the place, never really settled down. And hopefully tomorrow we get settled into an area and have a better day and still have a shot at getting 10 grand this week. So uh, good to see you, Dave. Good to be back. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. We'll see you tomorrow. Good to see you. Love having you back here. Next up, we have another Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Millville, New Jersey, GDP, Greg De Palma. Four fish for Greg De Palma to start off the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. Three quarters of the way through our way in 11 pounds, four ounces. He moves into 69th place currently, and that one shorter year limit going to hurt you a little bit today, but tomorrow you can make that up. Yeah, you know, the, the cut's not too high. Tomorrow's definitely another day. Uh, we'll go out there and give the best we got, but it's good to be back. You know, it's always good to, to be up on this stage and be out here in front of all you guys and uh, chasing some bass for a living. Good to have you back. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. Let's bring our two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina, K.J. Queen. Two fish for K.J. Queen to start it off, but some historic music there. I like that. Nice touch. Five pounds, seven ounces. He moves into 78th place currently, but nobody cares about how you start. It's all about how you finish, and you're going to get another shot him again tomorrow, K.J., yeah, I'm going to have to change some stuff up. I know that uh, it was a tough, brutal day on me today. All I can say is just a bad day fishing. Uh, you know, had some good practice days, but today it sure wasn't. But we're going to go figure it out tomorrow, and we're going to get a bag getting on that scale tomorrow. All right, I look forward to watching it happen. Another one of our rookies, I need you to get real loud. He's the Bassmaster Opens EQ Angler of the Year from South Carolina, J.T. Tompkins. Five fish for J.T. Tompkins. JT, did you pick this song? 19 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into 20th place currently. Nineteen pounds, fifteen ounces, and he is tiptoeing through the tulips into day two. What a start to his Elite Series career. I'm sure this is the song he envisioned to hearing. JT, you did not pick this song, correct? No, but if I get a 20-pound bag every single day and this song has to play for it to happen, I will take it gladly. So we're, go we're going good so far. Did you reply to the email where they asked you to pick a song? I thought I did. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought I did, though. That's usually what they do to you if you don't reply to it. They give you a song like that. But, but I mean, it is worth it for 20-pound bag. You're exactly right. I'll take 20 pounds any day as long as I'm tiptoeing through tulips. So All right. Keep tiptoeing through the tulips. We'll see you tomorrow. He's a Bassmaster Open winner from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Corey Johnston. Corey Johnston with five fish here today. <laughs> 19 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 21st place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. 19 pounds, 11 ounces, sitting in 21st place currently. So not a bad start to things. No, it, it wasn't a bad start. You know, it, it's sad when 19 pounds isn't that great out here. It just goes to show you what uh, what an incredible fishery this is. And, uh, I mean, there's lots of big ones out there, lots of fish to be caught. So I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. takeoff. Let's bring out a two-time classic qualifier, an elite series champion from Temple, Texas, Frank the Tank Tally. Frank the Tank with five fish here to kick off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign. 
10 pounds, 6 ounces, moves into 75th place currently, and get to rally tomorrow, Frank. Oh, yeah, not the uh, start that I wanted on day one of the new season, but you know what, Dave? My family's here, my beautiful wife, my grandkids, and my daughter, so I'm happy to be here. We'll just double the weight tomorrow and then maybe jump back in this thing, so let's see. Go make it happen and give that family a hug. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A two-time Elite Series champion from Newport, New York, Jamie the Hammer Hartman. Five fish here today for Jamie Hartman. Good to have you back here, Jamie. Good day. I am uh, glad to be back. Glad to get this party started again. 18 pounds, 13 ounces, moves into 27th place as we wind down our day one way in 82 anglers into 103 angler field. Stop one of 2024, the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend in beautiful Manny, Louisiana. Sure happy to be back here in Manny. And with 18-13, you had, did your work here today. Just got to back it up again tomorrow. Yeah, boy, I remember the last time I was on this stage in the same spot right here. And I was leading this event day two and day three and kind of fumbled on day four a little bit. But things are different on this go around. I think that was April. And now it's uh, I've got fish scattered all over the place. So I'm trying to make some adjustments on the fly. And hopefully tomorrow I can put a little more together. We'll make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. An Elite Series champion, a four-time classic qualifier from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, the sleepy assassin, Austin Felix. Five fish for Austin Felix here today and five good ones by the looks of things. 22 pounds, six ounces, and Austin Felix moves inside the top 10 with 22 pounds and six ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for the sleepy assassin, Austin Felix. 22 pounds, 6 ounces, and man, that's a good way to start the season. Yeah, it's great to start the season. Day one, off on a hot streak a little bit. Caught a pretty solid all day until about 1 o'clock. Uh, hopefully got plenty left out there, but... That was, it's been kind of fluky. The wind's going to switch around, so just going to play it by ear every day and keep it growing. Nice thing is we're not in Florida, so I feel a little bit more comfortable out there. So, uh, well, yeah, we're just going to get back after it. Good to have you back here. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time FLW Tour winner from North Carolina, Matt Airy. Team Toyota's Matt Airy with five fish here to start off his 2024 Elite Series campaign. 18 pounds, two ounces. He moves into 32nd place, so a good start to things for Matt Airy. 18-2, sitting in 32nd place. The last quarter of our weigh-in and digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. There, he found it. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Eighteen two, decent start to things, Matt. Yeah, it was all right. We just bounced around in the waves out there today. Hopefully, it'll calm down a little bit. We can run around. I, I had one place that I, I actually practiced in uh, for this specific win, and I caught everything I weighed in out of that one area today. So I bounced around, caught a few more fish here and there. But tomorrow, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to run around on this joker. Go get him. We'll see you back here tomorrow. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier and the 2020 Bassmaster College Champion, Cole Sands. Five fish for Cole Sands here today. I like him chunky. 12 pounds, five ounces. He moves into 69th place and got to get him big and chunky tomorrow. Hey, they were small and chunky today, but uh, man, I didn't kill myself today. I got one really good area that was rolling four footers today. Um, cannot wait to get there tomorrow. The wind's going to set up. Going to need a really big bag to get back in this, but I think I can do it, and I uh, can't wait for tomorrow. Love having you up here as part of the Elite Series. We'll see you tomorrow. Kicked off last season with an Elite Series win. Looking to do it again. A three-time classic qualifier from Raceland, Louisiana, Tyler Rivet. Five fish here today definitely wins the crowd reaction of the day, okay? 15 pounds, five ounces in 54th place. But let's hear it for him one more time.
15 pounds, 5 ounces. How good does that feel? Not good. I meant the cheering, not the oh, fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's that's That helps me because it was a long day. I didn't have a fish till 1 o'clock. And then my <laughs> what did he yell? I don't know. What he said? Lake Buff. That's our secret lake that we always fish at home. But You're not allowed to fish that lake, sir. Sorry, don't. You're cut off. It's Thursday, sir. I don't think there's coffee in that man's cup. Do you believe that he's drinking coffee? Uh, maybe with some Tito's or some Crown. I don't know what it is. But, no, like, it, it was just diversity today. You know, at 1 o'clock, I caught my first fish. And then at 2 o'clock, my trawler motor broke. So I was just drifting around for three hours. And I actually caught more fish without my trawler motor. Just having, like, I just went back to the old ways of drifting and going down a bank. And I actually caught more fish. So it kind of calmed me down. And I just didn't want to do what I did at Champlain and screw up my head when I wasn't catching. And I just had fun all day. So that's what the main thing today was, that I just can't get out of it, you know. Just got to stay in it all day. Lake Bob. I, I, I don't even know what it means. Just because you don't know what it means doesn't mean you can't say it. From Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, two-time classic qualifier. Get loud for Cooper Gallant. Five fish for Cooper here today. Former Bassmaster Open winner, 17 pounds of four ounces. He moves into 38th place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weighing bag. Let me hear it for Cooper Gallant. 17-4 and decent start to the season. Yeah, way more than I, I thought I had. I thought I had like 14 and a half, 15. They weigh heavy here, which is good. It's a good thing. But, uh, man, it feels good to be back up on this stage, Dave. It's been a long winter and uh, stoked to be back at it in the nitro and uh, catching bass. Uh, it was blowing out there today at one point. I thought I was on Lake Ontario again, but uh, I think tomorrow's going to be a little calmer out there. It'll be a little bit easier to navigate around the lake. But, man, excited to be here. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully we can bring in a five big ones. Looking forward to seeing it. Great to have you back here. He's the youngest angler ever to qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series from Illinois. Get loud for Trey McKinney. The rookies have showed out in a big way here on day number one, and it looks like it keeps on rolling. Trey McKinney, the youngest angler to ever qualify for the Elite Series. Five fish, 20 pounds, 14 ounces. And he moves into 18th place currently with 20 pounds and 14 ounces for this young fishing phenom. Eighteenth place currently with 20 pounds, 14 ounces. We've been hearing you've been coming for years. Well, welcome to the Elite Series. And, man, already making an impact on day number one. How does that feel? You know, I've never realized how stressful it was for these guys. I'm telling you, I got out there. Practice was one of them things where it was not put together. I didn't have a plan. You know, type of thing. I woke up this morning, and I just said, I, I need five bites, you know. And we picked them off one at a time today. About 12 o'clock, I was struggling. You know, I had three, and we just kind of kept grinding on. You know, it, it's good. The Lord put it in the path. We got it. We'll see what we do. We're doing the same thing tomorrow. See if we can put five in the boat. Can't wait to watch this season unfold for you. Congratulations. He's an elite series champion and a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Mississippi, Brock Mosley. Brock Mosley with five fish here today. Thirteen pounds, eleven ounces, puts him in sixty-seventh place currently. But another shot at him again tomorrow, Brock. Dude, I don't know how you can catch as many fish as I did today and not catch one over three pounds. It was no matter what I did. I started out shallow, caught a bunch of fish. They were all the same size. Decided I was going to go scoping for a while. Did the same exact size fish. Tomorrow we're just going to go to a different side of the lake and see what happens. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner from Longview, Texas. Get loud for Lee Livesey. Five fish for Lee Livesey to start things off. The 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series is going to go to Lake Fork where he's won back-to-back. -back. 16 pounds and nine ounces to start this derby off. Puts him in 41st place. Let's get him inside our semifinal Saturday cut. And as I said, next week's tournament happened on Lake Fork, and the question is, can anybody beat Lee Livesey? He's won the last two times we've been there. But let's not worry about Lake Fork yet because uh, – 
You got your work cut out for you again tomorrow. Good day today, but got to do it again tomorrow to stay inside that top 50. Yeah, obviously I don't know this place like Fork, but this is an amazing lake, and uh, hopefully I figure something out today and catch some fish. But first of all, Bush Light, first of all, actually, shout out to that guy in the back holding up a Bush Light. Uh, thank you, Gamagatsu, for sponsoring this event, titling this event. Uh, top quality product, top, top quality guys. I love working with them. Everything they have is amazing, sharpest hooks in the world. I got a box full of them. Uh, but, but for me, a big change this year, running an Express X21 uh, with the Yamaha 250 show, and I ran all up and down Toledo Bend. Loving it so far. Big shout-out to Express. I'll see y'all guys tomorrow. Thank y'all. Look forward to seeing you back here. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina, Jake Whitaker. Five fish. <laughs> To start the day today, start the season, 15 pounds even, puts him in 60th place currently, so just outside the top 50, and our weigh-in's winding down here, so you're going to be right there knocking at the door, just need a couple bigger bites tomorrow. Yeah, I had all cookie-cutter three-pounders today, and I, you know, I think I'm doing what most of the guys that are catching the big ones are doing, but uh, I just never got that big bite today, but uh, just want to say hey to my wife and little girl Mia back home watching, appreciate everybody, and uh, we'll go get them tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. He's a former Bassmaster Open winner, a six-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Holt, Michigan, Chad Pipkins. Five fists for Chad Pipkins here today. Looks like a good start to things. Let's get him inside the top 55 for Chad Pipkins. 21 pounds, two ounces, 21-2. Never mind the top 50, he's inside the top 20 in 15th place currently with 21 pounds and two ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for Chad Pipkins. 21 pounds, two ounces. That's a good start to things. That's a great start since I caught about five fish in practice. So every day is different, and I'm just going to uh, see what happens tomorrow. But excited to get out here, guys. Thanks for coming out, and we are going to see what happens tomorrow. There's nothing like fishing a place when you know you might catch a 10-pounder, so we're going to go see if we can hunt one of them down tomorrow. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Another one of our Elite Series rookies, I need you to get extra loud and welcome him right. He's the 2016 Bassmaster College Bass Champion from Tennessee, John Garrett. Welcome to the Elite Series stage. Great to have you here. Five fish today, 17 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into 36th place currently. And our rookie class continues to show out here on day number one. Ten rookies on the Elite Series this year. And it seems like the bulk of them are on the right side of the cut after day number one. How good does it feel to finally be here on the Bassmaster Elite Series? Dave, I've waited a long time to walk across this stage, and uh, it feels really good. You know, I was just backstage with all the guys I've watched growing up. It, it's a surreal feeling. Um, you know, I'm... I'm going to go out and fish hard every day, but I'm going to enjoy my time here. I've worked really hard to get here. Uh, super blessed for sure. You've worked hard. You deserve to be here, and we look forward to having you here for years and years to come. A 20-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish here today for Gerald Swindle. 11 pounds, 15 ounces, puts you, well, let's not worry about where it puts you today. Let's just work it out at the end of this. Uh, that's going to be down there around like when my grandma was and she passed away, about 94 or something. That ain't going to be good. I mean, Luke Palmer's got one bass bigger than my whole bag. I mean, it's, they serving that humble pie back here in the weigh-in line. I done ate me two pieces, washed it down with some shut-up juice. I'm like, well, eh, that'll teach you to go shallow and throw a chatterbait all day. Caught a bunch. I just never caught a big fish, and I thought, you might could salvage it a shallow and just go fishing, but without a big bite here, it's not going to work. And, it, and to look at the weights, i got to make some changes tomorrow. looks like I'm going to turn on all them electronics, go out there and ping a minnow, and just give them radiation treatment, just float around in that timber like I've lost all my good sense. Just look like sling blade, just trolling around, because that's what we do. We just troll around in the trees, just, you know, I don't know. I might go, I don't know. I'll just sit here. It just don't make no sense, so. When my medicine wears off, I'll go back to the bank tomorrow. But until then, I'll go sit in the trees and float around. 
I look forward to watching that go down. <laughs> he is an elite series champion, a five-time classic qualifier from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. Five fish for Luke Palmer. Took an elite series win last year. He's got 10 Bassmaster top 10s. Five fish here today, 25 pounds and an ounce. Moves into fourth place with 25 pounds and an ounce. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Boom shakalaka, giant bass. Oh boy, let's get a weight on this fish. Current leader for big bass is nine pounds of five ounces. Kobe Krieger leading Phoenix Boats Big Bass with 9.5. Luke Palmer, 9 pounds, 6 ounces of brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass. And, man, just enough to take that over. But, man, what a start to this tournament. You know, it was. It was a grind, though. It looks like it was fun and easy. But, boy, I, I, uh, my mom would not be very proud of me with the things that came out of my mouth today, probably. It was a... Uh, I think my marshal, he was wondering if I'd ever fished before. I got backlashed, I was hung up, done this, that, everything, and in between. But uh, it turned out, you know, I lost several good fish today, but, you know, I'm going to, I'll take 25 and not even show up tomorrow. But, you know, it's just one of those deals. It, it was fun, you know. And as mad as I got, I kept my head down, just kept swinging, and, you know, I finally connected with that big one, and that, uh, that kind of jumps your, you know, it got me going. So we got going again. We're going to stick them amp batteries plug them in, get them charged up, get ready to rock and roll in the morning, and go catch 25 again tomorrow. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here at 7 a.m. He's a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, hot off a win at his home body of water, Lake Okeechobee, and the Bassmaster opens from Okeechobee, Florida, Scott Martin. Five fists for Scott Martin here today. Already qualified for the 2025 Bassmaster Classic via his win earlier this year, 17-13, Puts him in 38th place currently. A former Forest Wood Cup champion with 17 pounds, 13 ounces. So a decent start to things in 38th place currently. And everybody was talking after your big win. You're already in the classic. You don't have that stress. Do you think you'll fish different this year? not worrying about the classic does it change anything for you it takes so it takes that little bit of anxiety and that little bit of stress off like i got up this morning and i felt great it was such a blessing now i want to do well i want to win you know there's always a lot of thing on the, a lot of things on the line but but those points and i remember the last couple of years about halfway through the season every time at dinner you're counting up points and trying to figure out who's in who's out and that is a stressful part of this this game so i don't have to deal with it and I'm looking forward to a great season. And, uh, you know, it, it was a blessing. Last week was, was truly amazing. And, uh, man, I, I don't even know what to say. Just catching those big fish like that at Okeechobee, you know, I didn't know I was going to catch them that good, but it worked out. Congrats on a great win. Great day today. Ladies and gentlemen, I need everybody to make lots of noise here. Everybody, I don't care what you're doing, you need to get loud. Kicking off his 50th season of competition. 32-time classic qualifier, 16-time Bassmaster winner, four-time classic champion from Ava, Missouri, the legendary Mr. Rick Clun. Five fish here today, nine pounds, seven ounces, and uh, Rick, what a, what, oh, you got, that's for me? One of your collector, co thank you, Rick. Yeah, big, uh, big Dave Smith made me a bunch of those when I coined the term, uh, never accept your all your greatest moments in the past. And so we just moved and I wanted to give you one. You know, Dave, you know, well, you remember Dave Smith. Yeah. He made the Heisman trophies. He made all the Super Bowl rings, you know, so I miss him. But anyway, no, I, uh, I didn't go out and fish the deeper stuff today because I could barely do it. I'm just learning. I can barely do it on a calm day, <laughs> you know, trying to keep it on them. But so I didn't even try to do it today because I knew as rough as it was, I'd just be fighting it all day. And even if I caught a few, it still wouldn't be no fun. So I went one shallow like I did, and it shows. But anyway, thank y'all. You're an inspiration. Five decades of tournament competition. Thank you very much, Rick Clum. We'll see you tomorrow. Next up, we have.
an Elite Series champion, a Bassmaster Open winner from South Carolina, Brian New. Five fish here today for Brian New to kick off the 2024 Elite Series. 22 pounds and an ounce. Puts him in 12th place, currently digging deep in that Crush City way and back. Get loud, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, shaka laka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. This is going to be very, very close. He needs to have 9-6. We got a two-way tie for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Anything better than 9-6, he takes over the lead. Nine pounds, eight ounces, a brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass leader. And uh, how good does that feel? So it, it feels really good. I mean, it, it looks like on paper I had a great day, but I really had a pitiful day. You catch a nine and a half pounder, it goes a long way. But a uh, funny story, in 2019 at Lake Murray, back when I was dating my beautiful wife, I was staying at her house and uh, went out on Murray on my birthday. The first cast of the day, I caught a 9-3, biggest bass of my life. Today I caught a 9-8, biggest bass of my life. Yesterday was my birthday. And the Elite Series is back, baby. Happy birthday and great to have you back. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Northport, Alabama. Get loud for Justin Hamner. Five fish here today, 20 pounds, five ounces, moves into 23rd place currently. A parade of bass pandas here late in the weigh-in. 20 pounds, five ounces, and don't think that's going to take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass, but, man, a welcome addition and a great start to things. Yeah, I'm just glad to be back out here. This place is so much fun to fish. I caught a ton of fish. I'm ready to get back out there and do it again tomorrow. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow. The 2022 Bassmaster Classic Champion from Dry Creek, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. Five fish here today for Jason Christie. One of the most feared names in professional bass fishing. But a tough first day of this tournament. 15 pounds, 4 ounces, just outside of the top 50. Going to be in contention with 15 pounds, 4 ounces. But watching you today, I mean, it. it will they come shallow as this tournament moves on, do you think? Or, or, or are you going to have to go find them? I knew with the wind uh, forecast for today, I had to pick an area and make a decision on what I was going to do. And, of course, I decided to fish shallow. I would have bet the house, the dog, everything that they were going to show up, and they just didn't. I think what happened is we had so much wind that it flip-flopped the water. It just cooled everything off, kind of put them in a bad mood. I, you know, I caught more in the last hour than I did all day. So uh, something pretty cool today, I, about noon, you know, I was struggling. I run across... The creek, I hit a wave. My, I was going to go scope, and my 12 comes off and goes over the cameraman out the back of the boat. And I almost just kept going. I was like, nah, I'm going to turn around. Turn around, went back. It was floating, wiped it off, put it back on, worked like a charm. So that was one good thing that happened today. There was two. That was it. All right. <laughs> well, look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. He's the only Australian ever to win an Elite Series event. The only Australian ever to qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series. Fear my heart, Carl Jacobson. Five fish here today for Carl Jacobson. Let's get this season kicked off right. 17 pounds, of four ounces, moves into 45th place with just two anglers left to weigh in here on the first day of competition at the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite. At Toledo Bend in beautiful Manny, Louisiana, 17-4. Got you in 45th place and uh, knocking at that top 50 cut. So going to have to just go do it again tomorrow and make it happen. Yep. No, a good start. Last year I had 12 pounds. I think I was in the 80s at Okeechobee and ended up making the 12 cut. So it's all about getting them on that day too. But just super pumped to be back. Love fishing with Bassmaster. Love the Elite Series. Great feeling ripping out there today. Uh, Toledo Ben, I think it was in 2016 or 15, one of the ones when I was here and I finished dead last. So I've come a long way since then and uh, hopefully I can go out and make my first cut here at Toledo Ben. Love being here, love the campground, love the fishing, love the people and the food. 
Um, hope we come back. We love having you here. See you back here tomorrow morning. All the way from Blue Ash, Ohio, get loud for Alex Redwine. Alex Redwine with five fish to start off his 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series campaign here at the Gemigatsu Bassmaster Elite on Toledo Bend. 13 pounds, 10 ounces outside of the cut right now, but another shot to begin tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be, uh, I mean, there's a lot of guys right at your weight, so it's going to be tight tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I I pretty much salvaged the day. I think I only had one fish by like noon or one o'clock, and then I kind of scrambled around and was able to wrangle up a few uh, to end the day with. But um, looking forward to tomorrow, I feel like I kind of know what I need to do. But like you said, I mean, one one or two bites away, and you're right back in this thing. But super excited to be get the tournament season kicked off. Got some new people on board that I'm super excited to represent, and and good seeing you, Dave. Good seeing you too. Always good to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A two-time Elite Series champion, a former Bass Nation national champion from Connecticut, Paul Mueller. Five fish for Paul Mueller here today. Five fish, 15 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 59th place currently, just outside of the top 50, but another shot tomorrow. And uh, just go get a couple of bigger ones and you'll be in it. I thought I had 14, so I'll take it. Uh, I guess that one that was that I caught was a fat one. I, and I, there's some big fish where I'm at. Uh, I don't know, man. I felt like I was, you know, everybody's using live sonar. I felt like I was fishing a flasher today with my performance. But I guess it's not that bad, so I got to catch 20 tomorrow, and we'll fish day three. So we'll see what happens. Go make it happen. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day one weigh-in here in beautiful Manny, Louisiana. For everybody that tuned in online, we thank you for tuning in. Here's our top 10. Currently leading, Choya Fujita with 31 pounds, 3 ounces. Right behind him, Elite Series rookie, Robert G with 29 pounds even. Followed by Pat Schlopper, Luke Palmer, Stetson Blaylock, Cody Huff, Kobe Krieger, Jordan Lee, and Ben Milliken and Wesley Gore, three out of our top 10, our Elite Series rookies. We're welcoming back Jordan Lee. He's inside the top 10, but the question is, can anybody chase down Koya Vegeta? Five top 10s in his rookie season and picking up right where he left off. This has been day number one, stop number one of the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series, the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite at Toledo Bend. Manny, Louisiana, you guys were an incredible Thursday crowd. Can't wait to see Friday, and the weekend is going to be an absolute party.